<laughs> You're on camera. <laughs> I was so discreet about it, like that picture was like... He's empty camera. I don't have anything clever. I don't say clever things. <laughs> Just ready for my speech. Just ready to get this going. It's like taking a PK. Who gets nervous for those? <laughs> Day one, Kelly had a plan where she wanted to go with this game. Now, I've expressed many times when describing her to others, she's a coach's dream and an opponent's nightmare. She trains as hard and as diligently as anyone I've ever seen and is amazingly versatile and will do anything to win a match. She'll grind the opposition down with vision, tremendous technique, intelligent tactics, and great athleticism and speed. She'll apply these qualities unselfishly on both sides of the ball and will do just as much to win balls end line to end line to put her team on attack as she will for herself when a teammate is, is put on the ball to, to make a run to put the ball in the back of the net. Certainly Kelly is on the path less followed and going for it with ambition and purpose. Her aim is still to make a difference in the world through the beautiful game. I can attest to the difference that she has made in my life and in the lives of others. She is someone I have the highest respect for and who I now call friend and I also call the newest member of the New Jersey Girls Soccer Coaches Association Hall of Fame, Kelly Tonghini. You must create a culture of hard work. You must lead by first following. You must appreciate every team member's worth and strengths and recognize their differences and weaknesses as well. You must represent the team on and off the field. And most, and most important of all, you must believe in each individual and the team. Before I met Anthony, I flattered myself thinking that I was tough. As far as I know, Anthony's the toughest guy alive. He's an incredible guy who's shown me what true strength looks like and what it means to stare down adversity. So soon after we met, Anthony and I started dating. It was him who challenged me. It was him who challenged me to look deep, face my fears of failure, and go after the thing that I still wanted more than anything in the world. Over the next six months, Anthony got to know me pretty well. And he asked me one evening when I was feeling sorry for myself and fretting about my future. He said, so what is it that you really want to do? I looked at him in disbelief and I said, you know this, I want to play soccer again. Well, then he said, if you really, truly want it, you would be doing everything possible to make it happen. I don't think you want it enough. <laughs> Needless to say, he got the reaction from me that he wanted. So it was early March 2016 and I found myself in a huge indoor facility in Manasquan, New Jersey. It was open tryouts for Sky Blue FC, the professional, the professional team in the National Women's Soccer League. There were 60 girls there, some were from New Jersey, most of them were from New Jersey, but some were from out of the country. Um, I was a girl with orange cleats and an inside out maroon Virginia Tech shirt. <laughs> A lot of things went wrong that day, as you heard Yus talk about. Um, but somehow they saw something in me, and they called. They called me back for a second tryout with 29 other girls. Um, at the end of the day, I was one of the six chosen to join the full team for preseason training. As Yus mentioned, my Sky Blue coach Christy Holly and I still joke about how I did not play well the first day, but he did see something in me, uh, and we laughed about how I just made the cut. Not all of us get second chances, and I was just given two in a row. The second chance gave me the opportunity to live my dream. We all know how rewarding and how cruel athletics can be. The game had given me so much, and then with one bad header, stolen so much back. And here was again, giving back so much more than it had ever given before. Thank you again, Coach Earing, for your belief in me on and off the playing fields. Thank you to my family for always supporting me in the pursuit of my dreams. Thank you, Anthony, for being my rock and inspiration every day. And thank you again to the NJGSCA. I never expected to be standing here, but this is a true honor. This is not only for me, but for all the people who have helped me along the way. Thank you, guys. Have a good afternoon. 
Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the NJGSCA banquet today. Congratulations to all the players who got awards. It's an honor to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. Uh, I can't wait for preseason. I got to go back in, but I'll see you guys soon.